This problem is asking us to simplify and to solve for x. So we are to take this inequality and get x is greater than or x is less than some value. So what I like to do with these is I like to go ahead and draw a little river from the inequality symbol just to remind me where it's at and, and help me navigate through my problem. Now the first thing when we have a big equation like this is we always look to see if there's some kind of grouping symbol. So here I have a set of parentheses and I'm going to distribute to remove that set of parentheses. So when I go to distribute I have 3 times x which is 3x and I have 3 times 2 which is 6. Now a lot of kids when they distribute they forget that there might be something else outside the parentheses. So don't forget to put that minus 8x there or it'll mess you up. So then here on the left hand side of the equal sign I have a couple of like terms, right? I have a 3x and a minus 8x. So that is negative 5x. So I still have 6 and I still have my right hand side of my equation. So now that I've distributed and collected like terms, now I need to start shifting things around. Okay, so I'm going to move all of my x values onto the left hand side and then all of my non-x values to the right hand side. So just starting out to move this 4x over, I'm going to subtract 4x from each side of the equal sign. So I have 6 minus 9x is less than negative 3. And then I need to move the 6 over. So I'm going to subtract 6 from each side. Because remember, you have to get rid of addition or subtraction before you can get rid of the, the multiplication there. So I have negative 9x is less than negative 9. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide by negative 9 from both sides. Now if you if you use the, uh, the imaginary idea that the inequality symbol is an alligator, remember when you multiply or divide, alligators get really confused with negative numbers. And so when they get confused, it makes them change directions. So my inequality symbol changes directions when I multiply or divide by a negative number, like happens here. Now a lot of times, if they ask for an inequality, sometimes they'll ask you to write it on a number line. So I'm just going to show you that real quick. So I'm going to put a couple of numbers before 1, a couple of numbers after it, okay? This inequality symbol doesn't have a line under it, so when I put the circle on 1, it's an open circle. And I'm looking for x is greater than that 1, so I'm going to shade where all the numbers are bigger than 1 which is that way. So here is the graphic solution and then here is the symbolic equation.